Denise. Um, Karen. Orla. Bray. Oshin. Hi guys. I'd love to know what's been happening to the home, Denise, and uh, how's it impacting on you? Well, we built about uh, 11 years ago. We moved in just 10 years ago now at Christmas. Um, noticed cracks, well we heard about Micah and started noticing the cracks in our own house. Well, I did. My husband's been telling me for years they're settling cracks. He, but I believed him. I think he was kidding himself, really. But in April of this year, like there's no denying that the cracks were more than settling cracks. So we're in the process of uh, getting the samples taken and finding out what needs to happen to the house, really. Um, with us, our house, we built um, mortgage-free. My husband's a worker and a saver. <laughs> it wasn't me. Um, <laughs> So when we, we built the house and we moved in, we had very little done. Like, I mean, we were, we had a curtain for a toilet door. We had carpet where, like, old people's, people's carpets that had been finished with, borrowed, b borrowed begged everything. Um, so over the last 10 years, we've very slowly, we've got tiles down, we've got wooden floors down. Um, it's been, you know, a long process, frustrating at times, but to get to the point of we haven't finished, We've been upstairs to do for the children's bedrooms to realise now that it's all wasted. Oh. It's, you know, it's, it's maybe going to have to come down before we've even finished it. It's not fair. How, I can see you're visibly upset and I'm really sorry, but it is a really important thing that we discussed today with you as well, because as a mummy, you never planned it wasn't something that was Absolutely there. Absolutely not. No, um, you know, the, the plans you have is for, you know, for as the children are getting older, they're going to get their own bedrooms, it's coming into the teenage years. And, you know, like, we've been, you know, dreaming about what we're going to do in each room and you get a little bit done and then it's moving on to the next room and what's going to be next. You know, the next job for us was putting, um, getting the living room done. But, like, from April on, we haven't looked at it, we haven't thought about it. It's still a concrete floor. We don't, you know, it's... Everything's on hold, you know, for the for the children as well. They, you know, the plans that they have and what they're thinking of doing for their own rooms is it's all on hold. We don't know what's going to be happening next. Be waiting for sample testing to come back to see what needs to be done. So it's it's just a waiting game now. What would make a difference for you right now if we were to talk to the government into this camera? What as a mum for could you say to them? Oh. Uh, we we need a hundred percent redress. We need help right now. We need we need it done right now. We um we can't wait. You know, like the trying to fight for the hundred percent redress is tough enough, but we know that the ahead of us is even tougher. The possibility of seeing your house coming down, the possibility of of living in a house that's having so much work done to it that it's not it's not really a home anymore. Like. We, we just need the, the, the peace of mind that it's coming, that you know that the money's going to be there, that the support's going to be there. That's, that's going to help, 100%.